Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. They must be pissing out then. And welcome back to our third instalment of our Christmas reviews or Christmas videos in the month of December 2021. I've been to Iceland, I've got another Greg's product, and we're giving it one of these. Ho, ho, ho. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. There we have it, brothers and sisters. We have the Greg's two fabulously festive bakes. Two Christmas bakes. But it says festive. <laughs> we all know someone that doesn't like the, like the, the term festive, don't we? It is, like he said, it is Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I fucking hate Christmas, mate, I'll be honest. It's all about fucking shelling money out and getting fucking no, no thanks off the fucking kids and nothing. They are, Connor. There's a PlayStation 5 you've been waiting for for the last two years. Uh, thanks. Right, so we have delicious chicken breast pieces, sage onion stuffing and sweet cure bacon in a creamy sage and cranberry sauce, all parceled up in our crumb-topped tasty puff pastry. And that is the Greg's Fabulously Festive Bakes, exclusively to Iceland. Now, they must have done these before, or they've been out all year, because there's no no on it. Oh, boss, I'm looking at this now, here. Do you know what? I ain't, I ain't fucking fan assisted 200 degrees 30 minutes. Let's get that fucking now. Because I'm a bit peckish, if you know what I mean. Uh, to enjoy these delicious festive bakes at their best, bake from frozen, remove all packaging. I was going to cook a bit fucking box. Oh, fucking hell, fire. Uh, what's that one? Fuck you now. Wheat, wheat, milk, 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 mustard, milk, wheat, barley. With a with a with a with a with a, with a, a pinch of red sage in there and some niacin and theanin. <laughs> I'm a fucking bell end, honest to God. Crumb top press, yeah, we fucking read that. Let's get down here and have a good fucking shofties at it. I'm not throwing it because fuck me, it's enough on it. Jesus. Good job I didn't have some hot fucking top there. That hob was fucking bright red. Hotter than the fucking sun, that bastard. I can't slide these out of here because they're in a little plastic tray. Look. So, whoop. Fuck you now. Uh, I've stuck a bit of we fucking love garlic fry light in this house at the bottom of there. Because I still can't find my parchment paper. I did re relocate it the other day and uh, fucking lost it again. Shh. Honestly, it's like Mary Poppins' fucking bag, this house. Put something in it, it's fucking gone forever. Uh, also, before I do put these in the oven, these do actually sound really good. Now, they're not going to be like that fucking pitch there. You're not going to be biting into a fucking deliciousness like that, are you? It's going to be a mess of slop and it's probably going to stick to the bottom of my fucking roasting tin. So yeah, 30 minutes is it? Front assisted. 30 minutes. Starting now. It's been half an hour, people. And this is what I've been left with. They do smell really good. And they did stick a tiny bit. But I'm... Oh, fuck. As you can see, a tiny bit. It's there. You know what I mean? As soon as I get me, me uh, greaseproof paper sorted, I'm, I might just buy a new fucking roll for fuck's sake. So yeah, then we're going to be hotter than the sun. Uh, so I'm going to uh, leave them for five minutes and then we're going to get up here. I'm going to slide one of them festive Greg's Bakes down my gizzard. There it is. The festive bake from Iceland. Exclusively to Iceland, but it's Greg's, Greg's recipe anyway. Just all I can smell is puff pastry right now, but that does smell good. I love puff pastry. As you can probably tell, because I've probably done three puff pastry products in the last fucking four days. Fuck me, I'm going to have to double up on my statins. Anyway, let's get it down my gizzard. Ooh. 
The first thing to hit me there was Sage and Onion. Sorry. Was Sage and Onion. That was a bit fucking lump of it there, look. See it? That to me is good, isn't it? Because I love Sage and Onion stuff and stuff like that. I love Sage and Onion, I don't know why. Or as I've done as a kid, if you don't have stuffing on your Christmas dinner, then it's ruined. Don't come across anything else yet apart from Sage and Onion and stuffing. Delicious chicken breast pieces. I believe it's in there, but I'm fucking hot on it. Sage onion stuffing, fucking shit lads. Sweet cure, ba sweet cure bacon, no. In a creamy sage and cranberry sauce. Look at the sage again, so it's double up on sage, no wonder I can fucking taste it. That's why it's all, that's all the power to a sage. It's nice, don't get me wrong, because I do like sage. I've just got some chicken. <laughs> but honest to God, does it taste Christmas, eh? Christmas, eh? Yes, it does. And you know why? Because all I can taste is sage and onion. And say, well, sage, sage and onion. It's all powered with sucking sage. Fuck oh, man, but I like that bathroom. Mm. Sage onion, sage. I can even smell it now. The smell of sage is coming through fucking rampant. I'm going to put that down because although to me it does taste really really good if you're expecting to taste anything other than sage and sage and onion stuffing you'll be disappointed because that should be a sage that should be a sage and sage and onion stuffing fucking bake because that's all it is tiny bit of chicken taste and it weren't the great chicken taste, it was, it was the processed fucking chicken taste I got in it. Uh, cranberry, non-existent, I couldn't taste it. Bacon, fuck me, I think they forgot to put it in. But they didn't forget to put the sage and the sage and onion stuffing in. Fuck me, I liked it, do you know what I mean? But, if you, if you expect anything fucking from that, uh, can I say? If you don't like sage and you don't like sage and onion stuffing, don't fucking buy it. Needless to say, brothers and sisters, I'm not saying it's shit. I'm just saying, I'm not even going to mention sage and sage and onion stuffing yet again because I've said it about 80 million fucking times already and that's no exaggeration. Uh, for me it was alright but you know what I mean it was average kind of liked it, kind of didn't like it very disappointed to be honest because they were £2.50 uh, anyway if you like this press like comment, share it on your social media and subscribe bah! and become a family member of hashtag team CTB where I ho 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 Fucking dickhead. Fucking loves you.